that is crazy. Ridiculous. Like, I really don't trust people. Life is crazy. I'm really in hustle mode. Everything is not handed to you, Buki. Just because you cute. Because you were created for a purpose. Happy Saturday. If you're new here, I'm Courtney. Hey girl, hey. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to come join us, baby. Hey y'all. So, guess what I got? I got my donkey. Y'all, I'm so freaking excited. I haven't had coffee in a week. And y'all see, I got a small. I didn't get my normal medium because I'm trying to do good. So, today is the day that I can coffee and then eat out. So, and I just like go crazy. I am going to eat. I already ate breakfast here. I'm going to eat a snack. And I'm going to eat lunch. And then probably like dinner is what I will eat out. But I got my coffee. Oh, let me taste Mm. Yeah, I've been missing this all week and it, it hit just like that. But yeah, so it's Saturday. It's competition day. I'm helping my girl get ready for her competition. I'm washing her uniform and stuff now. Um trying to get the video up as well. But I need to start the vlog for today. And then today is a late competition day. Usually, y'all know we be there at 6, 8 in the morning. But today, she don't have to be there at 2. She compete at 4. So, that's good. I ain't have to, like, take off work, use no time or nothing like that. So, I was very happy about that. But anyway, y'all, I just want to start the vlog for today. I'm about to drink my coffee. Enjoy it. Yeah. And... Um, start getting everything ready so I can be on schedule and on time today because we got to do a live giveaway and then I got to find me something to wear and all of the things. So we'll be back. Boo thing, I already went to the farmer's market. He got some pineapples, the juice, cucumbers, and we still have some stuff left over. I need to buy a fruit bowl to put over here. Y'all. We about to get ready to go live. I went ahead and just put on my clothes or what I was gonna wear for today. I feel like wearing my glasses, so we gonna wear my glasses. I love these glasses. I need to give me some more. I'm gonna give y'all a quick outfit of the day. I got like five minutes before I'm supposed to be on live. So let's get into it. And I got on my house slippers. I'm gonna wear my Cortez's, but I'm in the house. I'm not finna put on no tennis shoes. Y'all can't see my feet. Uh, glasses she in. I got on this slip dress from Target. I got on my leather jacket from Old Navy. I got on gold jewelry and silver, so I mixed my medals today. Um, I'm putting on my gold and black little Tory Burch. Going back to the place where Kate competed last time, and they had so many rules and regulations, like they really irritated me. So I'm probably not gonna be able to bring my purse, and y'all know I'm not gonna be able to bring y'all. So I'm gonna have to record and stuff on my phone, and it'll just be easier. I don't have to carry a lot since i can't bring a lot y'all i'm so freaking nervous i don't know why i'm getting nervous like girl you go live you be you've been live before this is your pe these your people so what you nervous for i'm about to i got everything set up got my computer right here with the names in there i got this tripod but i don't think i'm gonna use it but let me get ready to log into my youtube app i didn't know if i want to go live on my phone or what but I am gonna go live on my phone. So oh, y'all, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> All right, let me get this situated so I can get ready to go live. Hey y'all, this portion of the video is sponsored by Halara. I know, y'all know me. I love elevated basic looks. Like I love loungewear, I love comfortable, I love cozy, I love something I can just throw on. And baby, Halara is that, okay? Browsing on the website already, Y'all, they have leggings, jumpsuits, dresses, work pants, anything, you name it, they can tie it together. So, y'all know I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion about the material, how it feels, the size. What I love about Halara is it's stretchy, breathable, and affordable. And who don't like to save a coin, sis? But y'all know I'm going to give y'all my honest opinion. All right, so, we're going to jump right into it. So, first of all, let's get into the packaging. Look at the packaging, like it came so neatly packaged. Each item was individually packaged into one of these little bags. 
so cute so i do have my phone because i do want to make sure i tell y'all the correct name i'm also going to pop it right here on the screen so you can have it so these are the crossover pocket split hem wide leg pants i'm about to go ahead and try these on because i can't just come on here and just my pants so it's i'm a pair with a shirt it's a round neck cut out short sleeve crop shirt let's try on these items and get our first impression first look love it y'all the material feels so good look at this split at the bottom it can be loungewear like running errands i can put on some tennis shoes i can put on some sandals with this a blue jean jacket i feel really cute i like this i like this shirt i get the even though this material is like um athleisure material i still like it and it feels really good on the skin it's really really soft um these pants are cross over at the top you see they suck you right on in they do have pockets y'all think these are my favorite pants these are my new favorite pants so yeah i got the pants in large and i got the shirt in large um it fits really nice the sizing is good so they do go up to they have curvy and plus so everybody can get get in with these the skinny girls the thick girls the curvy girls whatever uh, up next we have the adjustable strap waffle casual overalls let me just say it ain't one of my favorites but let's get into it right here look at these it's like this is size large i mean i guess it's supposed to give oversized I don't know. I don't really like the baggy look, but it's really comfortable. It's really cute. I think I could have sized down in this. I did get a large. I probably could have did a medium. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's comfortable. The material is really good. I probably still wear it around the house. Just put on a t-shirt and just lounge around in it. But this is really cute. And it also has a pocket on the back. It's wide leg. For reference, I'm 5'3". It basically covered up my feet. So... This is okay. I don't I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So alright, up next we have the mid-rise elastic waistband palazzo flowy wide leg pants. Baby, these titles are long. I like them. I like these pants. I will wear them like you can wear them to lounge around the house in. I wear them out. I can put on some cute little sandals cute little wedge heel or something like that like they can go they versatile the material is really good it feels really good on my skin y'all i actually like these pants it has a pocket well, it actually has two pockets on both sides it's drawstring i do have a still have a lot of room in here so i probably could have did medium but i kind of like how they fit yeah i'm looking at myself in the mirror but i like how they fit these are a thumbs up i like these super freaking cute and of course they long over my feet all my pants are long but this is cute i like it for y'all rate it all right up next we have the softly zero unique backless racer back top and then we have the speed wave high-waisted black pocket contrast quick dry leggings so as far as the leggings i love them the material feels really good y'all can barely see it but right here it's a cute little mesh material real breathable so they say when you sweat it's supposed to dry up really quick with these leggings so i like them they feel really good love them now let's get to the sports bra i love the sports bra i love the design of it it has a little cutout in the back right here don't mind the rows okay we're working on those but yeah they have a cute little cutout the only thing is i don't really feel supported i wish it was a little tighter up in here I feel like if I wear this to the gym, I might have to wear a jacket, depending on what I'm doing. So, it's still good. The material still feels good. I just think I should have sized down. And I did get a large and a large in both of these items. But overall, I like it. They're full length. They go all the way down to my ankles. Everything on my ankles. So, this is the leggings and the top. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. I like it. I just wish this was tighter. So I, I'm still going to wear these. Like maybe to go on a walk or something like that. I just got to be careful if I'm going to the gym lift weights or any kind of running or anything. I don't know. I don't know. I might be secure but 
I don't know. Alright, so up next we have the padded V-neck cropped yoga tank top. Um, and I paired it with the high-waisted side pocket wide leg flowy palazzo casual pant. Well, here is the outfit. This is more of a workout top, but I would definitely with the material, like it feels good. I would definitely wear this together, even though it's workout. That's why I like Lara baby. Elevated basics. But anyway. Um, they say these pants are cotton, but it gives me, like, linen pants. Um, they're very much comfortable. I've been seeing these pants go viral on TikTok, so the girls are going crazy over them. So, in the front, it looks like regular pants. In the back, you do have elastic. Um, you do have two pockets here. Cute. If I had to go in the office, I would definitely wear these. I'll probably throw a cardigan on top and some sandals. Cute, comfortable. These pants feel really good, y'all. I've been saying I wanted to elevate my style as far as, you know, cute, comfortable, and casual. And this is getting just it. Like, I love these pants. So freaking cute. I love the color, too. And these pants come... All the items come in a whole bunch of colors, y'all. Like, that's what I love about Halal. They have beautiful colors, so. All right, y'all. This is our last item. And it is the Real Sleeveless Tube Slight Flare Lounge Jumpsuit. All right, y'all. She's long. She's comfortable. Y'all, I literally have no bra on. I didn't even put on a half a bra. And it's literally holding me up. So, it has built-in protection. Like, it feels real good on the skin. I actually like this color. Like, it looks good on my skin. I feel... Baby, I can put on some tennis shoes. I can put on some sandals. Whatever. However you want to do it. Like, you can dress it up. You can dress it down. I really like it. It feels good on my body. It fits good on my body as well. And I literally got this one in the large too. So, super freaking cute, huh? Alright, y'all. That was the last item. And let me know what y'all think. Like... What was y'all, which one was y'all favorite? I really like this one, but I really think I love those blue pants with the cutout shirt. So if y'all see me in it in like every vlog, don't say nothing. Don't let that, don't let that worry you, okay? And all the links will be in the description box. So be sure to meet me in the comments because I need to know which one y'all favorite. And again, I want to thank Halara for sponsoring this part of the video. And thank y'all so much for your support. It's 12 o'clock, y'all. Let's go live. All right, y'all. We're going to wait for the people to get in the live, and then we're going to start. Happy Saturday. Are we live? Okay. Catching up on vlogs. Thank you for your support. I mean, it feel good, but it's just cold outside. It ain't cold, it's just cool. And we got one more. All right, Angel. All right, Angel's Life 25. So the three winners again is Sonia Heard 5685. She's So Cold and Angel Life 25. All right, y'all. Congratulations to the winners. She said, I think that's me. I changed my name. <laughs> Y'all, I really do appreciate y'all love and support. Thank y'all, baby. We growing. And it'll, it'll definitely be more giveaways. I might start trying to do a giveaway once a month. It won't always be $150, but we'll do something. All right, so the winners got 48 hours to respond to me. If not, we'll be going live again so I can give out the gift card. Because I want to make sure I give out three for $50. Hey, y'all. So we just got off live. It went so freaking good. I was supposed to be on live. I said I gave myself 30 minutes. I ended up being on live for 45 minutes. But the live was jumping today. I gotta I gotta start going on live more often. Um y'all let me know what day y'all want me to go live on. It's not gonna be on the upload day. So since my upload schedule when we get back to our regular schedule, is Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Do y'all think Saturday mornings will be an ideal time to go live? I think Saturday mornings will work around 11, 12 o'clock. Or I don't know what other day we could do. Or a Sunday evening after everybody gets settled. Or we can wind down together and like start preparing. I don't know. I don't know. Just let me know what y'all want. But anyway, my girl finna get ready to go compete. Let me make sure everything is together and then we'll be back. Hey y'all, it's almost time to 
leave the house. I'm about to make me a quick lunch. I'm about to eat a chicken wrap. Oh, my mouth was dry. I'm about to eat the chicken wrap and then make sure the kitchen and everything's straight before we get to leave the house. I've been washing clothes. I'm almost done with laundry. Y'all know how hard it is to wash and fold clothes the same day. That's what I'm doing. I'm like really pushing myself so that the clothes don't be like just piled up. I'm really in the space of creating organization and better habits and just not like throwing stuff everywhere. I really want to get into a routine and my plan is to my mama been telling me to do this but at least wash one thing of laundry every day I'm about to warm up my tortilla they talking about awards not gonna be until seven tonight but I really want to still go to the grocery store because I don't want to have to do it and I'm trying to see how cake can be do 28 Gatorades. I want to have Tadarian been drinking them too. But let me put Gatorades on here. And we got them from Sam's. Like, baby, nah, -uh. I'm finna have to start hiding them again. But she not even really, and they the little ones, she not even really drinking the whole thing. I'm about to eat. Cause remember, I only get one meal today. And I don't even know what I want. I want something good. But yeah, I do want to go to the grocery store. I don't want to do nothing tomorrow, so that's why I want to go ahead and get everything done today. But yeah, just checking in, about to eat. I gotta leave the house in like an hour. Let me take my jewelry out because I gotta wash these couple of dishes. I ain't that many in there, but I don't want them to sit in there because when I come in here and get ready to cook tomorrow. I just want to come in, cook, and clean. I don't want to clean, cook, clean. I don't like to do that. So, let me do that. And then, um, I'm probably, I'll show y'all my wrap I've been eating. And I just use some of those chicken thighs. I cooked a lot of chicken thighs, and we just been eating them different ways. One day, we ate it with vegetables. Um, one day, we ate it with a wrap. Sometimes today, I eat it with a salad. So, however you want to eat it, you can mix it up. Alright y'all, this is my chicken wrap. It got chicken, salsa, and I put some sour cream in here. So, about to eat up. Yeah, I hate when it has extra. I don't even want me. I want to bite down on something every time. Mmm. Mmm. Nice little crunch. I'm going to eat, wash the dishes, and get ready to go. So we headed to K Competition. It's 36 minutes, 35 minutes away. We should be there at 3.37. We got to park and make sure we get in there. I need to figure out what stage she's performing on so I can know when I get there. And I need to go ahead and purchase my ticket. Hey, my mom gonna give me whiplash the way she dry. Jesus. You want to drive? Nope. Okay, then. Girl, don't get smart with me. I ain't get smart. I'm just getting <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what time? Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, they performing on floor number two. So... We headed there. Yeah, I know I'm gonna have to leave y'all in the car. So the next footage probably just gonna be on my phone. So I see y'all when y'all get there. And wish my girl look in the comments. Let's see if they get another champion ship today. They've been killing it all season. So I didn't tell y'all why this cheer competition is thirty eight dollars and seventy four cents for one day. Cheer is expensive. Like you got your monthly fees. You got your package that you gotta buy for that uniform and stuff. Uh, any kind of extra training they want them to do. Competitions, we gotta pay. I'ma complain every vlog, but I'm still gonna go. But I just feel like, as a parent, I should get one ticket. One free ticket, baby. We already paying all this money. And people be like, why you work so much? 
Cause Kate, Kate is expensive. Jesus Christ, thirty-eight dollars, baby. If my sister was coming and she saw that, she would have sat in the car. She was gonna take me to Facetime with her, baby, because she wasn't gonna pay thirty-eight dollars. That is crazy, ridiculous. Yeah, usually it's twenty dollars, but I'm trying to see what's so special about this competition that it's thirty eight dollars. What was it? They got to pay to rent that thing. Okay, we was just here last two weeks ago. Wasn't they forty dollars? No, I think it was twenty dollars. It was twenty dollars because I had to. Uh, it was forty dollars because I paid for two days, but this baby. I'm gonna try start me a cheer um competition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to not be going to cake competition. Baby, it's getting too expensive. You you could have stayed in that lane because you gotta go that way. But yeah, I just had to come rent because I just bought my ticket and I'm like, baby, what up? And they literally perform for like three seconds. Thirty eight dollars for three seconds is crazy, but I'm on my way. All right, y'all, we made it. It's packed. <sighs> I gotta see what we gonna eat afterwards. This is a whole bunch of restaurants. We can figure it out. Yeah, it's super packed today. Kate and them should already be in the building line. Well, doing warm ups. Gonna go meet tea. Yeah, it's three forty nine, and y'all look how long the line is. She completed 14. Lord, I pray I make it. All right, y'all. It's four o'clock. We headed there now. We got ten minutes to get through the crowd. to go inside car and try to get some food i'm trying to see can kids come in here first but oh y'all see kids sidecar in frisco i've had a lot of good things about it hopefully it's good so cute in here y'all so we just finished eating i had to come get my stuff on my mama truck because she gotta go and we gotta stay here till seven we got an hour until awards but anyway y'all sidecar food was good what the fuck it follow me don't ask me no questions. you all the way back there i'm gonna follow you <laughs> but yeah so we gotta wait an hour and then we'll be able to leave i think it's okay bro <laughs> He don't even know what a truck is. But the food was good. I ended up getting a burger. I got the, I can't remember the name of it, but it said it had thin pieces of meat. Baby, that meat I was so thick. Today, stop playing with me. I knew I was going the right way. Bro, this man got us walking in circles. They gonna think we stealing. 
<laughs> I see it right there. Lord. Guess I'm gonna take me a little nap in the truck until it's time for us to go in. Kay got a report at 6.55. Let's see what time it is. It's six o'clock on the dot. So we finna probably sit here for like 50 minutes. It's a whole bunch of restaurants and stuff over here. I'm not drinking. If I was drinking, baby, I would have been at the bar, but that's that. Awards time. Hey y'all, so we headed in Kroger to get the stuff for the week. So we don't have to leave back at the house tomorrow. We got the list going in and out. Blackberries, strawberries, cabbage, juice, bell pepper, chicken thighs, brown turkey, poppy, Gatorade, oatmeal, spinach wraps, Granola, applesauce, olive oil, powder, Greek yogurt, milk, regular milk, and we're done. All right, y'all, we went in there for 29 minutes. All right, y'all, we made it home. It's currently 8.49. The groceries are put up. And about to get ready in the bed um end up watching bmf last night so we're probably gonna watch it tonight because we stayed up we watched the drewski show but we didn't watch bmf and we watched which was on tiktok um scrolling and stuff so then y'all have y'all heard like, dang what is his name today i keep talking about it. i can't even riley i can't remember his first name but his last name is riley i think but the 22 year old who went missing in Nashville when he was at the bar with his friends. Um, the 22 year old, he was at the bar with his friends. So they said he literally had one drink. And from the videos they have and everything, like he was literally like falling all over himself. I feel like something was put in his drink. We don't know. It's sad, but they ended up finding his body in a river. Um, I think today or yesterday. Really, really sad. That's why I really don't, like I really don't trust people. And that's half of the time when I go out, I'm on high alert. Cause you just never know like who watching you. And life is crazy. Let's just say that. Um, you don't know people's true intention with you or nothing like that. But the grocery when grocery shopping is done. So tomorrow the plan is not to leave the house, okay? That's the plan. We got everything we need. We got oh the only thing I couldn't get because we went to Kroger's at eight and it was closed. They didn't have this um meat department was closed. So I didn't get our salmon. Um I gotta go in, I gotta go to the store Monday because I gotta go in the office Tuesday. I was supposed to be getting cupcakes for my coworker. Um so when I go to the store I might swing by Kroger or I might go Tuesday when and when we go to practice for cake anyway i'm about to get ready to call it a night but tomorrow gonna be a very much chill sunday i am working a couple hours of overtime i'm work 7 to 9 30 get off i'm gonna watch church and while i'm watching church i'm gonna cook breakfast and i'm gonna go ahead and cook dinner so that can be done and then i'm gonna work a couple more hours and then i get off at three o'clock and that'll be my overtime for the week we got a lot going on so like i'm really in hustle mode so um yeah i plan on being off by three and if i go ahead and get dinner done when i get off at three i plan on going for a hot girl walk and then i'm gonna take a shower and i plan on being on my couch on my couch relaxing all day but today was a good day um i'm about to go now i need to send over those gift cards to everybody that won so congratulations i'm about to send everybody a gift card over and then I'm going to bed. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah. I couldn't talk to y'all about cake cheer competition because she was in the truck. So, they did get second place. They didn't win first. Um. But they was, I'm going to just be honest. They were sloppy today. They wasn't tight. They wasn't, like, alert. Like, it was just a lot of small mistakes. But it's okay. Um, it's a learning lesson. I just know next week, they probably gonna have practice all week. And she probably gonna run them like crazy because we go to Galveston in May um, for the last competition. I think that's all her competitions. Let me make sure. Oh, do we got one? No, we got one in April, I think. Let me see. Let me check the calendar. But just know next week, she gonna run them. Like, run them. I remember one day, Kate um, came to the show crying. I think, I can't remember what happened, but she made them run, baby. And she was like, I just wanted to come out and let you know why she's crying. I'm like, baby. This is why I, I want her 
to be disciplined like everything is not handed to you buki just because you cute so i was like i'm not mad as long as y'all ain't in there be no hug make a run all right so march 22nd which was today march 30th that was supposed to compete but i guess a lot of people was complaining that it's easter weekend and they're going out of town so they canceled their competition oh yeah she has a competition on the april the 6th so she got that one and then the next one after that is in may so we got two more com cheer competitions and then we're done for the season but we still got cheer practice because they even practice in the sermon so she'll do tryouts again in may um and then it'll be the same thing she have cheer come um, cheer practice i don't know what days it'll be they usually switch it up in the summertime but yeah but it's okay it's a learning lesson like y'all can't get cocky y'all can't get confident y'all can't get complacent just because y'all been winning all y'all championships don't mean like it's just a humbling experience and we all go through it but she will be okay but anyway we'll chat tomorrow Night. Good morning. Y'all, it is currently 9 30. I just got done working like two hours overtime. I'm about to watch church, make some breakfast, and also get started on dinner. So, today we're going to turkey patties and gravy, cabbage, and rice. Got me some more oatmeal. I wanted pancakes, but. It'll take too much to do and clean, and I already got to cook a whole dinner, so. But happy Sunday. Topping up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold her pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that Yeah, everything is prepped Baby, that cabbage almost took me up out of here So now, I like to prep everything first And then get all my pots and stuff out And then start cooking So I'm going to cook my I'm going to cook the patties on a griddle And then put it in the oven and bake them and then i'm gonna cook my cabbage and stuff so it's currently 10:44, and then we're gonna start while the food is cooking y'all know i'm gonna clean my kitchen hopefully it's feet if not i'm gonna have to put the cabbage in a big pot but we're gonna go ahead and saute our bell pepper and then we're gonna bake in here I'm still watching church Good and prep. Look at that. She's beautiful. You better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up. Nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof. I touch. Put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den. Speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways. But it's harder on the cold days. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted. My life is governed by the prophecies that are over me. Oh, 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 See, I realize that I am written, and the whole of my life is to align with what God foreknew 
about me. I'm not random and just doing this and making these type of moves. God, I'm looking for what you saw when you saw Tore. Before you put me in my mother's womb, you knew me. I'm after it. I don't have the luxury to be random. You be random if you want to be. You know when you are random what you are? Watch this, nothing. Because you were created for a purpose. You were created for a calling. You were created to express the glory of the one who created you. Without you, I'm nothing. Watch this. And without your word concerning me, I am nothing. If there's no word over me, I don't exist. But if there is a word over me, and I align myself with that word, not even the gates of hell themselves can prevail against me. Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you know that you are written, if you know that you are a word, come on and celebrate Jesus with me in this house. Amen. I'm written. Amen. You can't stop this. I'm written. I'm written. I'm, I'm written. I'm written. I'm written. And I didn't write it. That's what we try to do. We try to write it and bless and sanction what we, what we wrote. It won't work except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain. Who am I, Lord? Who am I, Lord? And remove anything in me yeah, around me that keeps me from being aware if I gotta be by myself in order to be aware by golly I'll be all by myself Amen I gotta do it I gotta do it I haven't arrived. I'm all, I'm not perfect yet. I haven't done it. I'm pressing though. I'm pressing though. I'm pressing though. I'm pressing against my offense. I'm pressing against my victim mentality. I'm pressing against my wickedness. I'm pressing against my flesh. I'm pressing toward the upward. It takes surrender to be you. It's hard. It's supposed to be hard. It's an upward journey. Upward. It's supposed to be hard. It is. There'll be moments of grace and reprieve. God knows how to balance your life in such a way that, well, let me put it the way that the great Solomon put in Ecclesiastes, in the day of prosperity rejoice. And in the day of adversity, in the Hebrew, ponder, consider, reflect, or worship. In the day of prosperity praise. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. You'll have seasons of prosperity. Hey, hey, hey. But that is tempered and balanced by the reality of your seasons of adversity. To be honest with you, one is no better than the other. Like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Cause I would rather be, rather be. I would rather be, rather be running Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I need to get away I need to get away now I need to get away now
currently 11 58 church is done dinner is done the kitchen is clean i'm about to sweep the kitchen and then i'm done in here um and then i gotta go i'm going back to work at 12 40 so i'm working 12 40 to 3 and after that your girl is gonna be on the couch i'm gonna go ahead and take my shower so i can be relaxed I want, I want nothing to do because I'm going, we back at the gym at 5 a.m. I'm glad that we went ahead and went grocery shopping and stuff, got all of that out of the way. So, Sundays, I want to be where I'm not really doing anything. I'm in the house. I don't have to go outside or nothing like that. I want to enjoy my space. So, at 3 o'clock, I'm going to be over there on the couch, knocked out. But dinner is ready whenever they get ready to eat. Um, I cook turkey patties. My mama used to cook, they used to call it beef patties. And I think we used to call it like Salisbury steak or something in Mississippi. So instead of beef, I just use turkey. It's the same thing. I just prefer turkey. And yeah, I was craving it and some cabbages. So I'm excited. I'm about to go ahead and take a shower. Uh, I got like 40 minutes before I gotta go to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I am finally off of work. <laughs> It is, I was supposed to get off at 3, but I ended up getting off at 2.30 because when I calculated my hours, I was like, I like, y'all, I'm weird. Even with my bank account, I like whole numbers. So, I would go put some money in my account just to have a whole number. I'm going to drive myself crazy, I know. But when I checked my overtime, it was like, whatever, 0.5. I'm like, I don't like 0.5. So, I literally was like, I'm finna, I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, I've worked. I, y'all know I already took my shower before I went to work. So your girl is about to get in this bed. I plan on like just laying down, taking a nap, whatever my body wants to do until like 5, 30, 6 o'clock. Then I want to get up and I want to edit at least two hours. And so then, because um, I want to get a head start on my editing for tomorrow. But yes, that's that, baby. It's a very much chill Sunday. Y'all, I have to start back wearing my Invisalign. Why? First of all, why I'm getting a gap in my in my two front teeth? I never had a gap. Never had a gap. Um, I can see my tongue between my teeth. The Invisalign is going on two nights. Two nights. I um, If you know here, I start wearing my Invisalign because... And them things hurt like literally they hurt um one night i could literally feel my teeth shifting and i was like no we can't do it and then i don't like the fact that you got to take them out every time you eat like it's just too much work like too much work i had braces but i had to take my braces off because i had really sensitive gums and my braces was beginning to push up in my gums so that's why i ended up going to Invisalign. I'm just gonna push through because like why why but yeah we finna get in this bed i'm finna cut my fan on you know it gotta soothe me to put me to sleep and then y'all i really want some bahama books but the way the wind whistling outside nah you ain't finna rock that jeep today we ain't finna do that so i'm just have self-control and go downstairs eat some yogurt or some child but all right y'all nap time now i am up for my nap i actually been up since what time did i get up it was probably like five hours like five o'clock so i slept like two hours but y'all know kids do not like to see you resting baby i'm in here nothing you need from me I feel her on my bag. She threw the cover off me. What you doing? What it look like? Like Jesus Christ. But anyway, it's currently 614. Um, I waiting on today just got done juicing. I'm waiting on him to get done cleaning up the kitchen. And then we're gonna go to Bahama Books because we need dessert. We need dessert. 
but yeah so we did good all we we didn't eat out or nothing like that we ate out yesterday um but other than that that was the only time and it's not that i want to be strict on myself about what i can eat i just want to eat stuff in moderation so how i was going to dunkin every single day that's not right once a week so it's not that i'm not gonna be doing these things i'm still gonna do them i'm just not gonna do them i have to have control self-control but yeah so i'm waiting on him i want to get back in the bed but he was like you gonna use me to go to bahama books with you but you ain't gonna sit here and talk to me while i wash dishes so i came up here put on some clothes and then i'm finna go back downstairs when i come home i plan on editing yeah i need to start editing because trying to edit tomorrow will be too much my new plan and how i want to go about things i want to at least take an hour to two hours at my day each day to edit um they can be right before i go to bed um they can be during the day whenever i can find time to do it but i need to try to edit every single day instead of waiting to upload day because lately it's just been too much i don't know what it is but it's just been too much oh yeah but but they they taking forever to take our order we just been sitting push here the and, um, the and then we okay i shouldn't have to push the button this is somebody walking oh Every time we get here, me and KB are eating. But they gotta buy one, get one free. So me and Kate don't get one to there and I want one. Y'all, I'm so mad. Like, they don't have no ice cream for my. Ooh. They don't have no ice cream for my cheesecake delight. And, like, I'm so tempted to drive to another one. Because, like, I, I really want ice cream, but Chick fil A is closed. So I don't know where it is. I don't know if I want no Baskin Robbins. But yeah, we finna figure it out and then I'll be back. Hey right, y'all, we're looking for a journal. What's up? You said you getting into one, what? Look at, no, it didn't like flowers on it. Yeah, this is nice though. You don't like the side of the cross. I like this little bit praying grace for women. 55 meditation. Oh, let's see. Yes, she's talking about. It's only $6.99. Y'all, this is so cute. It's $3.99. I got too many journals as these. Alright, y'all, they didn't have the journal. Oh, they got a Burlington down there. You wanna go in there? They ain't have a journal that he likes, so. Burlington. If not, we're going to Ross and we're going to Grand Prairie where I can get me a Bahama books. Y'all, it's loud in here. I can't record, but it don't look like they got nothing either. Y'all Thank you. Enjoy. You too. Baby, we don't want a lot. I just want a little, a little tasty taste. Y'all, y'all. How about number two? Mmm. Mm. It was worth the drive. I'm just gonna park and talk and enjoy it. Hey, y'all. We at another Ross to see if they got a journal. <laughs> It's in Spanish, y'all. But they got a lot of stuff, but just not what he looking for. Yeah, ain't got what I'm looking for. My guy is picky. <laughs> See how long it's... How long it took you to find... 12 years to find me. It took me 12 years to be like, yeah. To figure it out. To be like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 years too long. <laughs> I'm a Taurus, we really take our time. If you never dealt with a Taurus, we're not in a rush to do anything. But don't rush us. Because oh, you're definitely going to lose. <laughs> you going to slow down more? I'm slow down times 10, because at this point, why are you rushing me? <laughs> <laughs> you a home. Hey, y'all. We have made it home. Um, it's currently 8.39. I'm not sleepy because I took that long nap. I'm about to get ready to put on my jammies. And we're about to go... I'm about to edit. Um, so I'm probably gonna edit. I said I give myself two hours to edit tonight. Edit till like 10:30, and then 
um, call it a night. Today I'm finna watch BMF because he didn't watch it last night. If y'all watch BMF, let me know. It's so good. And he was like, <laughs> when he when he finally woke up because the TV had got loud because they was playing music. And he was like, you just started talking a million miles. When I tell you last night episode was so good, it was so good. So if y'all let watch BMF, let me know. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead start editing because we getting up we back in the gym tomorrow so we up at 5 a.m so i need to go ahead and yeah get ready to lay it down but we off to a great start the house is clean majority of the laundry is done i think i got like two more loads to wash i said i was gonna put in the wash in the morning when we come with our come with from what our gym clothes on so we off to a good start Dinner is cooked for tomorrow. We just, I cooked enough to have leftovers because I said I want to cook every single day. So we got food for tomorrow. And yeah, that's that. So anyway, I hope y'all have an amazing week. And we'll chat later. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to come join us, baby. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.